My name is Bassam Zwara. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Simform. Well, we started by kind of looking at how to back up PCs and laptops and quickly realized that um, the model that exists today is not very sustainable. I don't know about most users, but I have 350 gigs. I have a two-year-old, and so I've collected a lot of high-definition videos and uh, pictures of really every moment of our life at this point. <laughs> if I was to back this up into a cent kind of centralized online storage uh, solution, it, it'll be $300, $400 a month. I've tried all the you know $5, uh, all-you-want services, and all of them are, really don't work. Um, and so we, Prayer and I started by kind of exploring this problem, thinking, well, how would you do this in a way that is sustainable, in a way that's affordable for small businesses? Um, and that's how we arrived at this idea. We thought, well, the way to do it is to, you know, use leverage, you know, the surplus uh, capacity in, on people's machines and uh, the sunk cost that they already already paid for in terms of they already have machines that are running with power, paying for power, paying for cooling, uh, you know, they're paying for internet. So why not use the uh, resources available and bond them all together, bring them all together, aggregate them into a service that provides a reliable, secure and fast sto uh, uh, online storage. We do a fair amount of work in terms of both monitoring the machines that are in the system, the nodes that are in the system, and we monitor the redundancy rates of your files. And so if we see that certain machines have left the system or we've lost certain, you know, certain fragments in our system, we notice our, our cloud control, our central service that's running, notices that the redundancy levels are below what we want. We have enough redundancy in the system, but if it even dips below what we would like, the goal, um, we will regenerate the data. Um, so we'll create additional redundancy to kind of uh, uh, top it off to what it was. And so, and that happens in the background, it's trickle traffic, people don't see it. Um, and as machines come and go, or as we notice that things are not where we want them to be, we will regenerate additional redundancy to keep it at those levels. And so it is essentially becomes a, a lifetime service for your data. The data will persist regardless of all the different uh, things, dynamic things that are happening in the system. We rely on a couple of key properties that are really interesting. One is that, you know, we assume that all the machines are unreliable. We want, if you're in our system, you have to keep your machine up for 80% uh, of the time. So roughly a 75, in a 75 day window, you can't be more down, down more than 15 days in a, within a 75 day window. Um, so knowing that, we're building a reliable service on top of it. And so when we, when you're uh, trying to put data in a system, you're always doing a lot of parallel connections to different machines that are, and you're inserting, inserting pieces of data to those different machines in many, many different locations. The power is in the numbers. If you add up 100, 100 connections to 100 machines, all with small pipes, it's a pretty big pipe. And so, um, and we rely on that both in terms of getting really fast throughput in the system. You're transferring data really fast in both directions. And also the spread of data, right? Our system is very secure in that standpoint. The data is encrypted before it leaves the machine. The data is fragmented. No one machine has, can, you know, more than one piece of any file. And even if they did, it's actually okay. It's not the end of the world. The data was encrypted, right? And the way that you bring the files back together is that you have to assemble 64 fragments of 103 that are in the system to build, to get one block of a file. And, you know, the chances that 64 people can collude, come together, and somehow get the, the right fragments of one block of a file and then decrypt it are smaller than an atomic bomb happening in it. the chances of that happening statistically you look at that and you think wow okay uh this is a pretty secure system especially when compared to you know a traditional system where uh you know you're you're storing data in your data goes to a central server one server probably in a you know single data center if they're doing a really good job it'll probably be replicated across data centers um but 
it's all sitting in one machine. I mean, it might be an encrypted form, right? But we encrypt too. So it's like, you think about this and like, we have hundreds of data centers, right? And they're holding shards of data, small pieces of your files. Um, so that's, that's, that what, that's what makes the system more secure and, and, and actually faster than most, most approaches here. So in our system, we, you know, to join the system, you're probably joining because you want to store data in our system. And so the way the system works is that we, you, we would like you to do a local backup of, you know, of your machines and then configure SimForm to take your local backups and mirror them offsite. We require that each, from one of locations on, on, on your site or actually at the IT uh, service provider site, that you would contribute a similar amount to what you're consuming. So this is why this is a cooperative system. You're consuming resources from the system, but you're also contributing equal amounts of resources. So if you're storing 100 gigabytes in the system, we require 160 gigabytes to cover for the redundancy. Um, if you're using a certain amount of bandwidth in the system, we require a, a probably actually much less amount of bandwidth and without going into all the details here. but. Um, and that's that's how the system works. You're effectively you are, you make the system. I mean, we use our logos. You make the network, and it's really true. Without the nodes in the system contributing, we have no system.